Hey guys, this is Tom with the Strength Agenda, strengthagenda.com. Today we are going to do a video on voodoo flossing. I believe I talked about this in one of my last videos. Um, I talked about different ways and uh, modalities in terms of healing and recovering from injuries and whatnot. Um, but this is one that I felt I needed to go a little bit more in depth in because I think it's one of the most valuable ones that I use. Uh, so what pretty much voodoo flossing is, I picked it up when I lived out in California for a little bit from Kelly Starrett. He runs mobilitywad.com. And what voodoo flossing is pretty much is compression. You're taking some sort of like a bandage or a, a rubber tube and you're compressing a joint. Uh, the three joints I use it the most on for me personally are my wrist, my elbow, and my knee. But you can use it on you know your forearm, your calf, your ankle, your thigh, uh, your upper arm, anything like that. Obviously, you know, don't be an idiot and try and, you know, wrap it around your neck or anything around that area. That's just stupid. Um, and it's it just not, it's pointless. There's no need to do that. So, um, but it's used for like minor aches and strains. You know, your joints are bugging you a little bit. Or you have a little bit of inflammation. I think this is way better than anything else out there. Um, and it's cheap and effective. Um, you can pick, you know, two or your, there's all whole kinds of different like ways you can wrap yourself. Um, I got three right here. The first one I have is just your typical ACE bandage. Um, I've seen people use these before. These work effectively for, you know, effective for some people. Um, another one is just like a powerlifting wrap. This one's a little tighter. You can get this, it's a little more, it has a little more stretch to it. And you can uh, wrap this a little tighter and there's a lot more material with this. But the one I like to use the most is your basic uh, inner tube tire. Um, I know, I believe uh, it's Rogue Fitness. They sell actual like Voodoo Floss bands that are specific for this with different, you know, strengths and stuff. Um, but this, honestly, I just went to Walmart and I picked up an inner tube tire and I cut it. You know, the ones you can buy for a bike, it was like two bucks or something like that. Very uh, effective and it's, it's easy to use. I'm going to go ahead and wrap my wrist here and demonstrate. Um, and I'm going to explain, you know, exactly what it does. So what you're doing, like I said before, is you're compressing a joint. And what you want to do is you want to take, you know, whatever, you know, modality or uh, whatever fabric or whatever you're trying to use. And you wrap it up nice and tight. Wrap it as tight as you possibly can. Um, it's going to be a little uncomfortable. It might be a little bit painful, but it's only for a few minutes. So it, it, it's worth it. All right. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to wrap it as tight as possible. Once you get it set, you're going to, you know, tie it off or, you know, band it off or whatever you're going to do. And what you do is you set a timer. Uh, I don't suggest doing this for more than like a minute or two. Um, anything beyond that, if you start to lose circulation in you know, your hand or whatnot, and uh, that's just not cool. You don't need to be losing your hand just to try and make your wrist feel better. And what you do is during that two minutes, you just sit there and you move your hand around or you can hold it in a flex position, use a table and get yourself some you know, flexion in there. Move it around a little bit, just get the blood flowing. What this is going to do is it's kind of going to cut off circulation. It's going to restrict the blood flow going into this joint. All right. And you hold it, move it around, get it nice and, you know, to the point where it's, it really starts to hurt. And, you know, you see my hand is turning, you know, red here. And then what you do after your timer is up is you take it out. And what's going to happen once I take this off is blood is going to rush back into the area. It's going to automatically rush back in there. It's kind of going to flush it out, bring in new blood, new nutrients. Um, and it kind of speed up the heat, uh, the healing process. Like I said, I think this one works the best for short-term fixes. This isn't like you know you got a broken arm or something like that that you should use this. But you know you have a pulled muscle or a strained muscle or you know like I said with me in particular, I caught a clean wrong, so my wrist really bugging me. So I do this every night, um, and I do it in the morning when I get up, and I do a bunch of other things too. But I think this is the most effective way um, to help with you know minor aches and strains for a quick fix. Again, this is a quick fix. It's not a long-term thing. Um, if it bugs you every now and then, that's fine. Obviously, you can do it as many times as you need, um, but only keep it on there for a minute or two. I can't stress that enough. Don't be an idiot. Don't try to be a tough guy and, you know, I'm going to hold it on for five minutes. Well, don't. It just don't do that, all right? Um, a minute or two, and that should work, all right? Uh, so that's voodoo flossing. If you have any questions, you know, check out thestrengthagenda.com. We have some really good recipes and nutrition articles on there, and there's all kinds of other stuff in terms of recovery that may be able to help you out. We also have a couple of uh, strength athletes that we're going to start doing interviews for. We'll post those up soon. Um, we'll do about one every month. But uh, thanks for watching the video. Hope this helps you out. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at thestrengthagenda.com, all right? Take care.